again, everybody. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horrorcon and Film Festival. It is the last day of the convention, but I got to say, this place is jumping. There's a lot of people here to see the celebrity guests. We have a great Revenge of the Nerds reunion happening this weekend. And as someone who's just a fan at heart, I am having a blast getting to meet this cast. It has been so cool, and it's about to get cooler because I get to sit here with Andrew Cassess. Andrew, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I am great. Yeah, yeah, this has been a fantastic time. Yeah, Yeah, I mean, and I wasn't kidding. Like, I tell everybody, I'm just a fan who happens to get to do some cool stuff. And uh, this is a big deal, you know, because I grew up with these movies, and now my daughter is watching them, and she's watching nice, all the movies nice, I watched yeah. that I grew up Definitely with. Definitely appreciate, so. you know, indoctrinating the new generation of nerds. <laughs> exactly. Nerddom is a, is, a, is, a, is a constant through human history, so it'll uh, always be a thing. A hundred percent. And what I find funny, right, I grew up in a time, I was definitely a nerd, and in a time where you'd still get beat up for being a nerd, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah, now, sure, sure. nerd culture won. Everybody loves superheroes. Did, did, Everybody did loves make a right? breakthrough. Yeah, right? it, is, it is a new, a new, totally new world for nerds. Absolutely. Exactly. You get a little respect, a little cred. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, Andrew, I know it's the 40th anniversary yeah. of the movie, which I can barely believe. Yeah. You know, does it surprise you that after all this time, there's still such passion? Absolutely. For this movie? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I think it's a great blessing that, for whatever reason the movie touched a chord with people and people have an emotional connection to it. I mean, it's got a great heart. It's got a huge heart. Mm. And, uh, and you know, the underdog triumphs and who doesn't love that it's a great underdog story so, it is yeah so it is so i think uh, i think it's uh, it's a great blessing though that uh, that uh, that people still remember it 40 years later mm. for sure so um is this uh do you get to see all of your castmates in one place like this, this yeah that's, well that's the highlight for me mm-hmm. is we all get to get together and um and and we love each other we're really good friends and uh and so it's it's nice when we can all get together in mass like this and uh, and do and do something like this, yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to ask you the same question I've been asking everybody because mm-hmm. the answers have been funny and fascinating. Oh. Do you have a particular moment or anecdote from the set that stands out in your mind that you can share with us? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know that I can share with you necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. There's no restrictions on this show. So. No, no. I mean, you but, know, this, this, this people and I don't want you to. Don't embarrass protect. anybody. It's people in names you have to protect, but uh, I understand. But no, I mean the set was crazy. Was a crazy thing. I mean, I remember a lot of the shoot, the the, the shoots that we did, the the nights that we did. I remember, you know, uh, doing the. Um, Doing the the, um, the the whole talent show thing, and th- those nights were long nights, mm. and but that was so much fun. We had this huge crowd of people, and um, and and it was so much fun to finally pull off the pull off the take because we had rehearsed that routine a lot. Um, you know, we were doing it, you know, at the hotel in a little sort of side room. We would rehearse that whole thing, and um, and that was a lot of fun to finally pull that off, and it really it, it really turned out great in the movie. So so I, I you know that was very memorable but I mean that's just one of many things that were just incredibly fun and I, I, I have a lot of memories of the of, of that uh, of that shoot so you know some some more exciting than others like I got into flying kites for a little while like for a couple of weeks there I was like I would go into the courtyard of the of the hotel and and I was like getting pretty good at it and getting into all like what the different ones were and that hobby kind of died after I after that but you know so that's not uh, as exciting an anecdote maybe but but, uh, but it's I just have a lot though, of I've never heard yeah, someone say that before. I have a lot of before, memories you know? of that. Yeah, yeah. One time I lost a kite and I chased after it. I had to like cross the highway to get it to get it. It was very, I was a little dangerous kid. I was a thrill seeker. Ah. So you know, was, uh, that was uh, that was always a thing with me. But um, but yeah, so stuff like that. You know, it's all kinds of all kinds of things. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what are you up to these days? Any new projects you're working yeah, on? Yeah, I mean, just a little stuff. Nothing as as high profile as this. But I just did a day on a horror movie called Suicide Disco. Oh wow! It was written cool. and directed by R. A. The Rugged Man, and hopefully, uh, you know, that's uh, they're they're finishing shooting in Belgium right now, and uh, so hopefully that'll cut together and we'll get to see that soon. Awesome. Yeah. One last question, and I love asking it because I'm always fascinated by the answer. If there's one piece of advice you could give to, say, a young up-and-coming actor or actress coming up in the business, what piece of advice would you give them? 
I mean, you know, it's it's I don't know what advice I could give them because everything is so different now than when I was coming up and when I was a kid. But, you know, it takes three three things to 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 make it, I guess. You got to be good. Um um, and you know, which a lot of people are, and you gotta work really hard at it. You gotta be persistent, and then you gotta get a little lucky. And you know, I think I think nerds was definitely a lucky thing uh, for me. Um, it was, like I said, it was a great blessing to have been a part of it. And so, uh, so that's what it takes, I guess, is those three things. So just as long as you can, as long as you are good and you work hard. Maybe you get your break eventually, and you just got to stay in it because it can be it can be tough. So, so 100%. stay in it. Don't give up. Good stuff. Yeah, Andrew, thank you so much for a few minutes of your time. Yeah, yeah, my pleasure. I meant nice it when I said you. this is a thrill for me to get to meet everybody and ask a few questions. Oh yeah, it's, well it's a thrill for it's me awesome. too. Yeah, yeah, you bet. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the weekend. I wish you much success thank you. in all your future endeavors. Take it easy, nice. Andrew Casase, everybody here <laughs> at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival. This is Todd Sturridge, the Horror Nerd, signing off. We'll see all of you in the next interview.